Joshua, you yes. know, it's important to talent retention, you know, whereas some people call it a talent war in East Africa today. How is KCB uh, handling it? How are you handling it? What's the depth on the bench that you've got uh, yes. at the bank? You know, KCB has run Alikan, a huge, for many years, a training program and talent development for a lot of different levels. From the, We have a very strong graduate training program that comes through, we have management training programs, and because we've been here for long years, over 100 years, we're able to develop over time across the region very strong talent. And that's really the strength of our business today. And that enables us to offer solutions for customers to enhance the level of customer service and satisfaction for the group. That's an area we are very much proud of. We actually, when we go to international businesses to grow, we take our talent from our main business as our leaders in terms of growth and development. So, so that's really a way, otherwise we would never be able to develop our business across where we are in this market. So that's an area we are very proud of. We continue putting focus as a group in terms of training and development across all segments, and that's what will be an enabler to kick off our next frontier of growth. Now, Joshua, you know, you, you were, you've been a leader in, try, in trying to bring interest rates lower to your customers across the East African community. Uh, it seems to have crimped margins a little bit, but I think, you know, you've gone for uh, customer satisfaction and to show leadership. How would you describe the last 12 months and the way KCB's approached uh, the lending rates to their customers across the mortgage business where you are the leader um, and all, all these other, other businesses that you have? You know, what we've done as a group is we take a leadership position in the different sectors that we are. And as the largest bank today across the different markets, we like to signal and drive the market in terms of responding and signaling on where we want to play at today, whether it's on mortgages today or corporate markets or retail. That's an area we continue to. It's not something new that the bank is doing this year. That's an, a platform that we build on to be able to provide leadership in the industry. Two last final questions. One about you know looking forward. Uh, if you're, you're, you've been in the seat now, uh, you've got looking forward two years. What do you imagine this bank looks like two years down the road, Joshua? Oh, very exciting, mm. Malikan. We see more markets. We see Will you go into new markets? Do you we think? see more markets in the midterm. Yes. Ourselves consolidating the markets where we, we are today, but on a platform on stronger and greater service to our customers, leveraging technology, whether it's mobile or internet, and giving customers a chance to open their opportunities, mm. whether it's the young people, the youth, the middle class and because we are a universal bank mm -hmm. we provide solutions to all customers in all the markets that we operate so that's an area so it's an area of tremendous growth taking opportunities or leveraging the opportunities we have in the market as a leading bank and, and that's really the value of what we contribute as a group and more efficient so being able to drive our cost to income ratio to a level which we believe 50 percent is our target for the midterm so it's in short transforming kcb from the group group bank we are today to a great bank, able to compete effectively to tier one banks in Africa. Now, going back to the share price, Joshua, you know, the share price has been rocketing this year. We've hit record highs. I think two days ago, we closed at th over 39, a price never seen in KCB's history. Um, it's up, I think it was up at one point, nearly 31% this year. One of the best performing shares anywhere in the world, from Japan to Tokyo, wherever you care to look. Um, how has it been riding this tiger? How has it felt for yourself? Because it's been an extraordinary start. And, you know, I tend to think that the markets are a message. What's the, what's the message that we should take away? <laughs> well, let me say, Elegant, that mm. is a team behind KCB. We continue running our vision as a bank to be the best business and the best bank across the region. That is our motivation every single day. And we have got customers who, who are satisfied, the customers who we are looking forward to provide enabling solutions. That's really the key, and support from our shareholders. That is the key to be able to drive a great business. The market does follow those kind of sentiments and behavior, but what we do every single day is to enhance our business to a compelling world-class level. Today, with enabling solutions in technology, that is our purpose and mission today as a group, and we continue running that wave this year and the midterm. The rest is really market following us where the group is going. Overall, the group has run a program of transformation for a period of two or three years, and that program is continuing even today. If you look at the step down, Q4 11 and Q4 12, around about 30% down. Well, in 2011, last quarter, we had 2.3 billion worth of recoveries for specific focus on our customers. And that's an area we continuously aim to improve over time. 
So if you remove that from last year, 2011, the actual increase quarter to quarter is around about 8%, mm -hmm. and the annual year to year is 34%. Yeah. So, so there, is, there is a strong correlation in terms of like-to-like -like comparison. And it's because underpinned by the growth of performance, not just in Kenya, but also the strong performance in our subsidiaries today, which is 40% up from 2011. Now, when you talk about areas like dividends today, our vision is to solidify and enhance growth in the regions where we are and be open to drive growth in emergent markets. And therefore, we're going to strategy more to retaining more of our cash generation today because we are a growing business. And in an area which I call an epicenter mm -hmm. for Eastern Central Africa, we're in a position to take advantage for long-term growth for our shareholders. Can I just quickly go back to the dividend payout? I mean, on a ratio basis, it seems to be reduced year on year. Is that because you don't want to keep coming back to the market for rights issues? Are you looking now to keep a war chest of money? Does it, are you retooling, recalibrating the way you raise capital for expansion? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we've done, in the last two years, we came back and looked at different ways of opening our capital raising strategy. So not just looking at coming back for cash calling, but we look at different avenues of raising funds internally generated, but also raising funds through debt and partially international debt and capital market debt for our business. But I would say that 190 is still around about 46% dividend payout. Our long-term vision is to retain much more cash, but use that to reinvest aggressively in the markets we are in to improve returns to shareholders. And therefore, you should see much higher uh, earnings per share uh, over as we go into the midterm. And that then will follow the dividends, although the payout is much less. So our strategies today is more to look at options beyond the traditional rights issue to come back to raise cash for our growth, growth projection. You were talking about potentially going to the international capital markets to raise cash. Do you have to wait for the government to do Eurobond? I know that uh, there's a lot of talk of it being done in the next fiscal year. Is that the catalyst for KCB to go, or can you go beforehand if you, if you so desired? Now, we, we, we like KCB's vision is always to remain a leader in the areas that we operate. We're the first Kenyan-based bank to, to go out there aggressively into international markets in 1997. And we are not limited. What is undergoing today is a credit rating for the bank, an international credit rating for that matter. And when that is process is done, we'll definitely go out and access international markets. It could be a period of time, but we are not being limited today by the sovereign, for instance. And the sovereign has its own process. We will continue running the process independently as a bank. Now, you, you were mentioning the subsidiaries. You're in every piece of the East African community. You opened up your Burundi branch um, very recently, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, and I remember looking at the numbers two years ago, I think, you know, the, the sub subsidiaries weren't making money. Now you're t they're up nearly 40%. You've had tremendous growth coming out of there. Is it broad-based or is it happening in a particular place? Or how would you characterize uh, what's ha what we're seeing now with this sort of outperformance starting to happen around, around the region? It's very exciting, Alikan, mm -hmm. when you look at what is happening in our eastern central African mm -hmm. markets. I mean, five years ago, this is a great story mm -hmm. today. We look at five years ago, perhaps the bet in terms of the rising income levels, the opportunities for investment, the young generation, and capital coming in. We see the opportunity to provide solutions, financial solutions, and entrepreneurship capability in, in the markets where we are. So it's not different. The momentum can only be faster and quicker in the mid to longer term and KCB is there to provide solutions for our customers in this region. So that's an area that we're very passionate and we are very soft in our hearts mm -hmm. to enable over 120 million people over time to achieve income growth, open their opportunities, and enhance growth for Eastern Central Africa. You were talking about it being the epicenter of growth. Yes. I mean, do you still, are you a real bull on, on the East African community? Do you see it as being, you know, you, I think before you told me it was a tipping point? Yes. Yes, Are yes. all the signs in place for that to happen? I know you've now got your footprint. You've got 20 branches yes, in yes. Sudan. I mean, yes. you're, it seems to be in every part of this community. If anyone's going to ride the wave, I would have thought you are going to ride it. Well, that's where we are today as part of our mid to long term strategy as a bank. And we are riding the wave, mm. and we'll continue putting our investment in the countries in the region. Yes. Can I go back to a couple of details in the financial numbers? Cost to income ratio, Joshua, it seems not to have moved. Uh, from Q3, it seems to have been stable. You were mentioning um, in your presentation that a couple of percentage points were spent on Burundi, I think you were saying. Yes. Would you just give a bit yeah. of an explanation? I mean, on like-to-like -like basis, the mm. second half, we opened Burundi in May, June. So in the second half of the year, you go through on about 3% points, which is coming out of 
cost to income ratio. So like to like really we are at 55%. Okay. So we saw a reduction in that. Yes. Okay. Um, just going back to that fourth quarter recovery, that was about 2.3 billion, wasn't it, in the fourth quarter? Yes. Just, okay. Now, Joshua, talking about innovation, you know, you, mobile banking, this is a very sort of sexy Kenyan thing. Everyone yes. sort of associates us with mobile banking. What, what, are, what, are you, what are you doing at the bank in terms of the innovation side? I know you, 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 you put a lot of weight on it. Mm -hmm. Can you just describe to us the progress over the last 12 months? I mean, what for, you've the, achieved? for the last two years, Ali can, uh, mm. since 2011, we launched last year one what I would call as a market leader in terms of mobile banking platform, which is KCB Mobile Bank. Mm. Our target is to get 80% customers in the next one, two years, into this platform. And the opportunity is immense. You can literally run your transaction today from the palm of your hand without having to visit a branch. Today we have in excess of 800,000 customers in this, in this solution. And our target is to reach all our 2 million customers by next year. You were talking about agency banking. Uh, yes. You've got now, I think, 4,627 agents. Yes. If I'm not yes. mistaken, yes. you said 5% of the business is being done yes. on that basis. Yes. Where does that agency model go from here? How, you know, what is your ambition? Where, does it, where is it in 24 months' time? Are you getting good traction of it? I mean, we've increased our agents early last mm -hmm. year by a close of 50%. Mm -hmm. We like to see the mid-term objective to be over 10,000 customers of agents. In, in, in Kenya, but also more opportunity in East Africa. So that's an area of focus for our customers as we progress.